Hello, we're having a look at GPA Mesh today, a versatile and forgiving, easy to implement solution against RF radiation and also electric fields from the wiring when grounded and when the GPA is placed between the wiring and the occupants. GPA is a fiberglass uh, mesh coated in T98 shielding paint. Its function is to reduce the exposure of radio frequency radiation, RF, such as cell phone tower radiation, Wi-Fi, radar, as well as low frequency electric field exposure often found in homes. It can be implemented in many ways, including in rendering as reinforcement, placing the walls and ceiling, under the floorboards in timber construction, as well as placed behind tiling. Especially when electricity is to be found under the floor, it is important to place GPA mesh as a protective barrier on the floor area to have it grounded and thereby leading the electric field radiation from below to ground. Due to the obvious openings in the mesh, the shielding effectiveness is less than that of the highly effective T98 shielding paint. But with its ease of application, its price point and still formidable shielding, GPA is a popular option in homes. GPA is lightweight, it's flexible, adjusts well to curves and corners. It can be cut with scissors and knives, so it's real easy to work with. During application, the edges should overlap by about five centimeters to two inches, and uh, separate panels should be connected by securing uh, grounding tape, strapping, across the panels, which can be connected to ground by an electrician. If openings have to be made for the attachment of scaffolding, then those openings can simply be closed later by placing an additional panel of GPA over the opening. GPA mesh comes in rolls of 50 meters or 164 foot uh, and is often available per linear meter as well. There's no rules on which way you should apply GPA when it comes to its use in timber construction but horizontally often makes the most logical choice because the mesh can span across the framing and the grounding can then be applied vertically on the studs um, down to where an outlet might be which would be easy to connect to ground. If you were to apply GPA vertically then you'll need to run grounding tape the strapping along the whole bottom of the wall or, the, or near the ceiling um, to allow for the much shorter panels of GPA um, to be connected to ground. GPA can be secured with staples and the strapping can be uh, secured with nails and screws, so it's easy to work with. Please be mindful when securing strapping on framework that this could raise the profile of the framing in that location. This might be undesirable when plastic boards or gyprock go over the top, even though the use of your adhesive might allow you to adapt to some degree. Two techniques that could be used is to create a small recess on the front of the studs that you'll be using for the strapping, or to secure the strapping to the side of the stud and allowing for a small recess in the noggin to allow the strapping to pass through. Doing this last option would mean that you would need to apply your three layers of GPA mesh at the same time and securing the strapping each time you pass one of those studs before stretching the GPA to the next stud and continuing on. If the GPA is applied on external walls and insulation has already been applied, then of course you don't have access to this last option as the uh, studs can't be, uh, can be accessed. If any trades need to go through the GPA, they can simply cut a hole with a knife. To not reduce the shielding more than is needed, openings should be left as small as is practical. Please remember that GPA must be grounded, especially when normal unshielded electrical cable is used. A creative way of using GPA mesh could be to create an RF, an electric field barrier, under a rug, under a section of carpet, under a bed for example, to combat electric field exposure and some RF coming from below. The application needs to be as big as is possible to increase the chances of achieving the desired result. Under roof tiles, GPA is much easier to apply than expected, even retrospectively. Strips of GPA would uh, typically be ran from the apex towards the gutter and grounded with one long length of strapping running along the length of the roof. In case of existing homes, a section of tiles can be put aside, the GPA is stapled into place and the tiles being put back before continuing on to the next section. 
Implementation of GPA Mesh is not difficult. It would earn a respected place in your home. Whilst it's not difficult to apply, we would recommend you to receive some formal training on the strategies involved or to get the assistance of an EMF consultant experienced in its use. Thank you.